Just first of all, Mark, we're here at the Stormont. Signed Connor Quinn on a three year contract. What can we expect from the young man? Well, I expect a ring for the young man. He's obviously been a world class amateur for the world championships. He's world level now. You know, he's only 22 years of age, 150 amateur feats, seven times Irish champion, from boy to elite, the Ulster champion. He's won everything. Being away, box representing Ireland more times than many people's had feats and, and medaled regular, gold, silver, bronze. So he's a top class kid, yeah, he's going to do, do the business. and. He's in division flyweight. It's like flyweight super flyweight. You can go between the two, and believe me, you know this kid could win a British title now. But we'll just take it easy, and like I do, bring him along nicely, and me and praise his world title like them all. Did it was first fight with yourself in the Stormont in March two thousand and twenty-one. No, well, it will be his first fight in Ireland yeah. at this minute in time. But you know, if I have, if I can get him out next week, I'll get him out. You know what I'm like, so. It'll be his first home fight as a professional on the 13th of March in the, in this, in the uh, Stormont Hotel. And what can fans expect from him? What sort of fighter is he? Well, he's a box fighter. He's obviously got very, very skillful and elusive, but also he can come forward. He, he's every tool in the book, like. You're stable with uh, James Tennyson, Tommy McCarthy, Paul Hennel, etc. It's flying at the minute. He'll be another one to add to that list. Of yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very, you know, Good resume of fighters, you know, they're all you know, world class, they're all you know, Connor's no different, he's just going to bolster that. There, you know, you know, the thing about Connor is like he took himself off 20 years of age, no interest in the Olympics, no interest in he's done all that after 150 fights. It reminds me of a young James Tennyson, that's the way he was. He gave up a great amateur career to become you know, professional world champion and become down as one of the all time Irish greats, and that still might happen for every, every one of my fighters, but. It's the beginning for Connor. Now, he puts 100% into preparation. You'll put 100% into getting to where he has oh, to go. Oh, 100%. No, no one needs to know, or sorry, no one can question the effort that I put into, into my team. I have a small select team. I'm not interested in, you know, it's lucky to get an interview with me. I'm happy to sit in the background, you know. I get my pleasure watching the kids coming home with their belts, you know, and buying houses, buying cars, you know. You know, boxing saved my life, and hopefully, you know, that's my thing for them. And it's good to have one of one of your old fighters, D. Walsh, on his corner as trainer. Yes, yes. As I say, uh, it was Peter Graham, his amateur coach, that contacted me first, and then uh, and then D. mentioned I asked D. about him because I'd seen D. train him at D. for a bit, and then I got talking to Connor, and Connor said no, he wants D. and Peter to look after him. So, you know, I don't really get involved in the training side. You know, I've never have done. I'm just happy. If, if the fighter's happy and it's going well, then I'm happy. If it's not going well, then I'll step in and obviously don't make the necessary adjustments. But right now, you know, it's the beginning for D, for Peter, for Connor, and for me. We're talking about James Tennyson there. Great win for him last Friday night. Oh, it was phenomenal. What, what's on the radar for him? Well, Eddie wants to come back to the Odyssey. You know. Everything's dependent on this pandemic, as you know. It's driving everybody around the bend. You know, you know, it changes day to day. But if we get the fans in, then, then, then James and Tommy will top it all. Connor will be on it. You know, Hale will be on it. Uh, Eric Donovan will be on it. You know, I'll make sure of that there because you know, it's about time. Just exciting times for boxing in Belfast. Well, it is. It is. As I say, there's other stables and they're doing a fantastic job as well as myself and. Uh, you know, funny whenever I moved back to Northern Ireland, you know, I said I'd love to get this the way Manchester was, you know, in the 90s. And Belfast is the capital of boxing, you know, in Great Britain and Ireland. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, it's developing fantastic champions. And Eddie Hearn better watch out. Well, Eddie Hearn knows all about this kid, but I just want to get a couple of fights in him first before he takes that step on the TV because there's no comeback then. Thanks, Rick.